Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Over Under. I'm Jack. Today I am here with Mr. Talkin, Mr. Martin, and um, this uh, over first Under Over episode is theme, themes is movies. Um, and the way Over Under works is I will be asking them a question. So for example, I'll ask Mr. Talkin a question, and it will typically be numbers related, and he will give me a number. Nine. And then seven. Mr. Seven. Seven. Then, then you're taking and then the Mr. Answer. Martin will say either over or under. And if it is under, Mr. Martin will get the point. But if it is over and he is wrong, Mr. Talking will get the point. And then we will flip rolls. Let's get to the question. Who gets to go first? You guys can decide. By the virtue of a backstage coin flip, that care. Do it. Alright. Content. Oh my god! Oh, baby, it's first. Alright. Do I get to choose? I get to choose, right? Yeah, you can choose. Well, I think you have to pick before you hear the question. Yeah, you, yeah I can't. You can say if you want to say either give the number or the over or under part. I will do the over under part. Alright, so you are deferring. You are going to I am. To, I will. Okay. You're going to take, take the kick off in the second half. <laughs> the first question. Avatar is the largest grossing film of all time. <laughs> what is its lifetime gross? I don't know if it moved back in. That might be a slightly inaccurate question, because Endgame passed it, but they were battling. But it is somewhere in the range... Ah, let's see. I'm going to say... 2.4 billion. I would have rather you had this, because like if you didn't have any idea, I know that it's right. somewhere pretty close to that. I think I set the number pretty well for you. You said this is adjusted gross earnings. This is just the largest. What's the actual take. I I just looked this. I just looked up the like gross lifetime gross. Right. So I am going to say under. Under. Oh no 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 under. You said under. Oh yeah. okay. no! Okay. That means it's over. That means it's over. Otherwise, you would have stopped. I'm sorry. sorry. The correct answer is over. Ah oh, yes. It is. 2.8, Yes. So Mr. Talkin gets that first point. Yeah, I knew it was right. two point something. Enjoy the moment. We'll see who's laughing when I slash your tires in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the largest grossing movie franchise. Oh my gosh. What is it gross? Well, he has to give this one, right? Because I gave 2.4. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, so like the, for all the films, for all combined, Marvel this films, this, this is yeah, the okay, gross yeah. number for all of them combined. This is just no. I think this is just the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like as like a. I think it's a company, like a company. Like when I looked it up, like the largest grossing franchise. This is the number it gave me. So are we? Th I mean, that's my question. Is it's it really big. All the Avengers movies, all the the the, uh, the Spider Man movies, all of the Iron Man movies, all of the. Captain Marvel's in there, right? This is everything, right? Yeah, I would, yeah. Let's just, yeah, we'll say that. If not, I will. That's what we believe it is. If not, then we may be cutting this question. Yeah, I'll, I'll dispute, I'll dispute. <laughs> I, okay, I'll throw a number out there and I'll say $28 billion. Oh, $28 billion? Yes. Is that over or under? I'm gonna think for a second. The number I, that came to my head was like 30, so 28 is really good. That's that makes me more. If that you're that like too. way above or below right, 30, right. I was, it's I was like, gonna feel like it was pretty. The problem is, is, is trying to know the target number of movies and then kind yeah. of anticipating what you thought the average gross would be. I promise uh, I won't take you guys out in some way. Well, I will just say. I know Endgame is about the same as Avatar, and it's the highest. But like Avengers. Yeah, all the Thor movies. Right. Avengers is in the top ten all time now. Black Panther is in the top ten yes. all time now. At least it was. So I don't know. I, I think I don't think it quite gets there. I think I'm gonna go under, but I don't think it's under by much. You said under. I, so I said under. And you said 28, 28 billion. It is under. It is 22 billion 600 million. This question is very weird. There's no way you guys are gonna know this one. <laughs> How much did Robert De Niro spend in total to have his teeth messed up, messed up, and then fixed for his role in Cape Fear? <laughs> I was, that that is that is definitely random enough that I don't even have the beginnings of a guess. So this is gonna probably sound stupid. Got teeth so, messed up and fixed. Yes. So messed up. So in total. So like, how much did he pay to have them messed up and then fixed? Fixed. 
I mean, I assume that this probably involved like plastic surgery and stuff like that too, so they probably could get a decent amount of money. But it's also a while ago. Yeah. I'm gonna say twelve thousand dollars. So I honestly have no Is idea. That, that might be under. That might be ridiculously stupid. Well, what's Cape Fear Lake eighty, right? Like yeah. eighty eighty nine. I think so. So the number should be lower. But still, I think some of that dental work is pretty good price, so I'm gonna say over. Over? It is over, it's correct. Over is correct. It is $25,000. Well, that's still not a bad okay. guess, though. And, and I don't feel stupid about that. No, no. <laughs> specifically, he spent $5,000 to mess them up and then $20,000 to have them fixed. So that is a first, that is a point for the mark. Question four. In each chapter two, they broke the record for the most amount of fake blood used in a movie. How much did they use? What unit are we using here? Are we using gallons? Yeah, I'll give you the gallons. Okay. Well, about a 20 foot swimming pool. <laughs> did it be that much? <laughs> I, I am going to say 16,000 gallons. What you're talking is that over or under? I, that's another crazy one that I have no idea on, but I feel like I'm feeling under. I don't think it can be that high, but you said under? I'm saying under. And you said 16,000 16, gallons, it's 5,000 gallons. So you're talking over breath. I was thinking like three one. 22 foot, four foot swimming pool. Back back. Yeah. It was 5,000 gallons. I don't know how that's much. That's a lot of things. I, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I saw the movie, but I'm trying to remember. Like, was there ever a scene where there was like a flowing river? I, I don't know. I haven't seen it, so I had no oh, knowledge no. whatsoever. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides is allegedly the most expensive movie ever produced. How much did it cost to produce? Most expensive? I gotta go pretty big here. Uh, it makes sense that Pirates of the Caribbean is, you know, because it's an ocean theme. Yeah. Thanks, Captain Obvious. The water world was for a while too, and that was another ocean theme. So that makes sense. I'll say 350 million. 350 million? Okay, I'm going under. Under? Yeah. Mr. Talking, you get the point. It Dang. is 422 million. Wow! <laughs> I almost said 400 too. I, I decided to back it off. Like if I, seems stupid. Every time we do one of these, like if you have it, I like, try to formulate in my head what I think my answer would have been. So my answer for that one was going to be like 270 million. It's like when you said that. Wow. Okay. Well, I thought Waterworld was like a little over 200, and that's so much longer ago. Yeah. That I felt like I had to go like almost twice as much. So. Okay. Six. I don't know, I might I may be butchering this pronunciation. Zizek's Road is the least grossing movie. How little did it gross? <laughs> I believe I could be totally wrong. I believe it was released in the early two thousands. But again, that's like for a cool. general release, like a, like Yeah, how much did it gross as a general? <laughs> Seventy five thousand dollars. Ooh. That makes me think about it a little bit. I was pretty sure that I was just going to automatically say under no matter what she said because it's it's a right, low one. Right. I think I'm still going to go under, but I'm not as confident as I was. I was hoping you'd you just said under. I'm still going to go under. I'm going to think this is some type of weird freakish thing where it was like correct. one ticket sold or you something. You are correct. $30. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. How many theaters was it released in? All right, the final question. The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Titanic and Ben Hur all have the most Oscars. How many have they won? Combined? Or just no, like titles each? I had a pretty good guess for it. I think it's. I'm gonna go 10. Oh man, you're right. Oh, I hate you. Because, like, in my mind, I'm like a 9 or 11. It's kind of funny. 9 or 10. <laughs> Pretty split. sure it's nine or ten. I'm going with ten. I shouldn't say that because now I'm giving you reason to go under. But in my head, I was like, I was thinking like it was either nine or eleven. I'm probably wrong. It's probably like thirteen. I'm gonna. I've already lost, so I'm gonna go under. Under. You're talking that as a point for you. It is a they have won eleven each. Oh! <laughs> But yes, this will conclude the first episode. Thank you all for watching, and come back with the next episode. Revenge! Revenge! We need a part two.